is our peak out here that we're gonna be hiking. It looks pretty cool and rocky. Uh, Saddle Mountain. Uh, but it's not that high up. It's, uh, I don't know, 15, 1600 foot gain on the hike. So, you know, shouldn't be too bad. Should just be like a Picacho or Picket Post or something like that. Um, but we're almost there. Well, this road uh, got a little rough and I don't feel comfortable driving on it. It's very rocky and uneven. And I-10's out there. We've come west near the town of Tonopah, Arizona, and we are hiking this guy. Saddle Mountain here is our objective. So we're gonna have, uh, I don't know, an extra mile, mile and a half each way of road walking. It's pretty rugged and rocky. I mean, it looks like picket post, to be honest. Walking up to it, it has a very picket post feel to it. Um, so this is probably going to be in the Picacho picket post, you know, harder than Camelback sort of vein. Um, but I'm excited to get into this. Well, we're getting closer to where the official trail starts. I think behind this RV here. I don't exactly know where it goes. I think it's just gonna wind its way up this sort of amphitheater here. I don't, it, I guess it could be wrapping around on that road you see. There's some other cars out here. So maybe someone else is hiking it. Um, okay, so I don't think it goes up there. There's a cairn here and it looks like there's a trail that winds up. So we might be taking that road before we climb or we might just be hitting this rib and going up. I'd rather just go straight up. Um, but we'll find out, I guess. I guess we gotta have a little dip in the beginning. Ah, dip and then climb out this little wash on the other side. Ah, so it looks like it's starting and I already got off trail somehow. <laughs> Took a shortcut, I guess. Um, yeah, this this clearly is a trail, you know, not not the biggest trail, but uh, yeah, no clue where we're going, but we will be climbing quite a bit. All right, so we've come, you know, 100, 150 yards. We hit a junction here, so I think the left will take you up to that road. Maybe we're gonna head right and hopefully just head straight up this thing somewhere, and that's what I was hoping. So it looks like it starts gradual this first quarter mile or so. And then it's gonna be no running for Kevin. It is going to be an actual hike, I think. Um, but now you can sort of jog it. It's going up, but just not too steeply. So pretty soon I'm sure I'll be uh, switching to hike mode here. So this is very, very picket posty. It looks just like it, the trail's just like it. We started to wind our way up. I mean, we're only up 250 feet or something. Um, but it's starting slowly but surely to get steeper, but still a pretty nice trail for sure. I'm not sure. I think it's gonna be a trail the whole way. I read, the reason I'm doing this because I read actually two posts about this in the last couple days on, a, on the hiking group. Um, and one guy said it was like the hardest hike ever and you need poles and gloves and all this stuff, which I'm pretty sure you don't. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm hoping they're hopeful there's some sort of scrambling or something up top, but I'm gonna say probably not. But it's definitely getting steeper and steppier and a little rockier but i'm sure it'll be very rocky Woo! i'm sure it'll be very rocky up high so just winding our way i think to this face and then maybe maybe we're going up that shelf or maybe we're passing under this face i think i think we're going up to that sort of green looking ramp um but not totally sure maybe we're scaling the vertical wall free solo style but I will check in higher on up for you so we've now come up maybe 
five, 600 feet. We're getting close to this face and we are taking, uh, which ends up being a very wide ramp. We're, t we're getting close to the face, banging a left and going up this, uh, whatever ramp, if you want to call it that, to, uh, looks like there's a couple notches or small saddles up there. And then, uh, then we'll still have to go quite a bit higher up on the ridge. Um, but once we get up there, you know, that could mark our two thirds or th maybe even three quarters point up. I'm gonna say two thirds. So, so far so good. You know, it's gotten steeper, but it's gonna be like that the rest of the way. No issues with that. And the trail's easy to follow. And there are cairns almost everywhere too. So no way you can get lost, at least so far. So as you work your way higher, I thought you might have to go up some of these scree slopes. Um, you just cut it, the trail just cuts across them. So, but who knows, maybe higher, there will be some scree or talus, or maybe even big boulders to navigate. But yeah, it's, uh, it's steady, steep, you know, over a thousand foot a mile for sure. More in that like 1300 foot a mile range, maybe 1400 we got to rest in the beginning. So yeah, we're uh, climbing steeply, hands on the quads. But we're getting up there, we're getting closer to one of these saddles at least. Deep, deep. Maybe that one. So it turns out we've hit this notch, not that bigger saddle over there. Let's look out. Oh look, there's a little, little stool. So here's what I'm calling the notch. This de definitely qualifies as a notch. It looks like we're gonna head up one of these gullies now. Probably start to bend left to the summit. So uh, cool little view, big saguaro. Um, just came up a good eight, 900 feet probably. And now uh, we are heading up, I'm guessing just straight up this gully. There's a lot of cactus close to the trail. I mean, I don't see anything, but this looks, uh, when in doubt, take a crack or a gully up. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna attempt to get off dirt here to make the steps easier. Where are we going? Guess we're just gonna continue up this thing. I could very well be going the wrong way. That is always a possibility. This, is a, this looks right. Cactus everywhere. Stay away, Choya. So I'm guessing we're just gonna bend up this slope to the left. So I'll show you when we hit our next, I don't know, saddle or whatnot. But coming up steeply, so we got up to another, I don't even know where it was, that side, another saddle. And now we're just heading to this saddle. And I believe the peak is up to the right, but it looks like there's a higher peak to the left. So I'm gonna have to look at the map, see which one's higher. Cause I thought, I saw it and I was like, oh, that's gotta be it to the left. Um, I totally got off trail somehow. But here's the trail again. I was hoping there was some off trail navigation. I got some cactus stuck in me, very small. Very easy to pick out with my finger. Just a little teeny, little teeny thing with a couple spikes. So we are plowing up to a saddle and according to the map, we will bang a right. But it doesn't look like there's anything cool up to the right. So I'm a little disappointed. So we've hit the little saddle. There was the peak I saw before. Maybe we will get up higher than it. And now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't look as cool. So we're headed up here. This is not the summit. We're gonna have to ridge, ridge walk for a little bit. I don't even know if I'm going up the intended way. I just saw a rock and I was like, let's go straight up it. I do see a cairn here, so I guess we'll follow it. Although I would have gone up that gully. I didn't see the cairn. 
Oh, yeah. This is gonna get really boring, I think. Up on the ridge. Maybe we'll see the summit from here. Is that it? Pretty boring summit, if that's the summit or it's beyond. But uh, we're almost there, so I'll check in when I get there. Choya balls, watch out. Is this the summit? Or is this full summit? Dun, 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 dun. Nope, not the summit. Almost there though. It's over there. One minute later. Dun, dun, dun. Saddle Mountain. Here we are at the high point. This stick, got it, no, touched it. All right, well, great views of the plains down below. Pretty cool view, for sure. And then uh, looking back east to the start of the Phoenix Valley there. But we're pretty far west. And yeah, we are higher than that peak right there. So, good steep little summit. That was 36 minutes. That, that's the same as I took to go up uh, Safford Peak. Um, but obviously that's, uh, that's a lot, unless my time's wrong, unless I'm off by 10. 26 seems too aggressive. I think 36 minutes um, from the trail, from the actual trailhead, not from my car, because I had some road walking. And here's their summit marker. So for 1,500, 1,600 feet, 36 minutes, but it's only like a mile and a quarter. So that's not very fast for a mile and a quarter is what I'm getting at. Although I was being friendly with people. So it's an awesome drainage right there. Just follow that all the way out or this one, either one of these. Some pretty cool peaks in this little sky island right here. So I'm gonna get a picture and then uh, should be down back at the car in 40 minutes, maybe down this in 30 and then 10 more minutes back the mile to the car or mile and a quarter of the car. So I check it out, especially if you live in West Valley, if you live in Scottsdale, is it really worth driving when you can just do Camelback or Flatiron and, or Piestua or whatever? Uh, I don't know, maybe do it once if you're driving out to LA or something or Palm Springs on the way. Um, but probably not worth the hour and 20 minute drive to get out here, to be honest. Um, so anyway, see you on the next one. All right, we're down our ridge traverse back to our sort of like saddle here where we gain the ridge. And uh, now we'll have a lot of steep descent, which will suck. Um, so I meant to say on the summit, this is similar to Picacho or Picket Post. I would say it's easier than both of those. It's slightly harder than Camelback, but I mean, I sort of group all those together anyway, so this is not that difficult of a hike. Yes, is it steep for a mile? Absolutely. But uh, it's not unbearably steep. And it's all class two, by the way. I mean, unless you count that little gully step where maybe you use your hands on the rocks for support. It's class two, though. Um, so no scrambling, no need for gloves. Poles, is, I mean, unless you have really sensitive skin or something and want to protect them from the air, I don't know. Um, no need for poles, although I will say that is a personal preference if you have bad knees or if you're, if you're backpacking and have 50 pounds on your back, sure, bring some poles for the way down. I did not go up this way, but I started to come down this way, so it's like I might as well just keep going. Although this is a... Uh, this is pretty class 4E here. Maybe that's why this bench is here to help you if you were to climb up this rock face. Ugh. Not very stable now. Oops, sorry. Do I rebuild it? Oh well, um, yeah. The trail actually wrapped around. I just uh, decided to come down. 
I'm almost catching up to my people I met from Detroit on the way up. We're almost down a couple hundred, hundred more feet until we get back to the flat and the trailhead. And then I'll have another, say, mile and a quarter to the car. Ah, but we're down the steepest parts, so I should be able to move quicker now. Not that it's taken that long. Well, Here's the official trail head start. That's it. Saddle Mountain. All right, well, we're almost back at the car. I took the wrong road back. There's several different roads. Uh, so maybe if I would have driven on that one, it would have been easier. But anyway, we are back. And there's our mountain right there. See ya.